The Darkside Cave on Dagobah was an essential part of many Jedi's journeys, from Luke Skywalker facing his greatest fears to Starkiller discovering who he truly was. Even Yoda used this cave to see a glimpse of the future as he witnessed the destruction of the Jedi Order. The cave was so strong in the dark side that Yoda later used it to cover his light side presence from the Sith as he hid on the planet Dagobah. So why does this cave have such a strong connection to the dark side of the Force? The answer is found in the Star Wars Tales comic Heart of Darkness. The story takes place about 700 years before the Clone Wars and follows the Jedi Knight named Minch, who was of the same species as Yoda. He and his fellow Jedi were sent on a mission to destroy a cult of Dark Jedi. During the mission, Minch confronted one of the Dark Jedi and attacked him. During the fight, the Dark Jedi taunted Minch over his small stature, calling him little and saying that the Jedi Council must have been desperate in sending Jedi Padawans. Despite his effort, Minch was overwhelmed by his opponent and was knocked back. Luckily for him, however, another Jedi on the mission rushed in to save him and cornered the Darksider. Seeing that he had no means of escape, the Dark Jedi took his own life as a way to prevent the Jedi from gaining any information on his master. Shortly after, the Jedi were notified that an unidentified ship just launched from the station that they were on. Believing it was the leader of the Dark Side cult, they pursued the ship. The long chase led them to the Sluis Sector, which contained the planet Dagobah, the same planet the cult leader was heading towards in an attempt to escape the Jedi. Believing landing on the planet was too dangerous for their small starfighters, the head of the Jedi team called off everyone from pursuing further, but Minch disobeyed his order and continued on and entered the planet's orbit. Soon enough, his starfighter was caught in the chaotic storm and was struck down, causing him to crash land onto Dagobah. Leaping out of his crashed fighter, Minch sensed the Darkseid user nearby and chased after him. Minch finally caught up with the Darksider when he approached a cave. Demanding him to surrender, Minch carefully approached the cave and confronted the cult leader. The cult leader then called him a weak child who is full of fear and anger. Seeking to prove himself once and for all, Minch leaped into the air and attacked the cult leader, yelling the fact that size matters not. But the cult leader had a different opinion, in that size does matter. And as he said this, he used a dark side ability that made himself appear far larger than he actually was. He became a massive giant, tenfold the size that he originally was. Minch quickly cut down the giant which resulted in him to fall apart into dozens of miniature versions of himself. They all attacked the Jedi and overwhelmed him as they literally buried him with their bodies. But all of this was just an illusion, a dark side trick, as during the entire event, Minch was able to land a blow on the cult leader and cut him down, ending the illusion as a result. Despite mere moments from death, the cult leader proclaimed that he had defeated the Jedi and that he will make a fine addition to the dark side. He then died and his body melted within the cave. His blood and dark side energies seeped into the cracks and atmosphere of the cave, embedding them forever with the dark side of the Force. And thus the dark side cave of Dagobah was born. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.